A little over two years ago, uh, my wife was checking the mail and she came across a postcard from a little known church we never heard of, uh, kind of called Lifehouse. She brought it in the house and kept it on the refrigerator for a little while. She was in the process of looking for a church, had never found one that she hadn't fallen in love with yet, um, and decided to, to keep a hold of that in case it's something she wanted to see. And after a few weeks, she decided, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's football season, so we know where dad's gonna be. Dad's gonna be on the, church, on the, on the couch, and we're gonna go to church. And so when we got to September, she got the kids all dressed up and they got ready to head off to church. And they said, Dad, do you wanna go? And I was not interested. I was not gonna be pulled off the couch away from my football to go to church. I'd never had a great experience with church growing up. It was not really part of my life growing up. And it was certainly not something I was gonna give up watching football to go see, uh, do on a Sunday. So they got all dressed up and got all cute and off they went to Lifehouse. And every day they'd come home right before football would start and tell dad about all the cool things they did at church for the day, show me all the arts and crafts projects and tell me all about what they'd learned. And over the course of several months, they kept coming home and I'd see how happy they were and they never forced the issue. Dad, you gotta go with us. They never put any pressure on me, but uh, I could see that they were happy and, and having a good time and I saw that maybe I could go with them and see what's going on. Uh, I'm curious. So after a few months, I, I said, Phyllis, um, do you think I can go with you? And her, her eyes just lit up and she was so excited that I was interested in being a part of it. And she said, sure, we'll wait, go get dressed. And I got dressed and we uh, got in the car and drove into church. And as soon as we turned the corner, um, we just noticed that something was different about this place. Um, from the moment we turned in the parking lot, people were greeting us, waving, saying good morning, uh, good to see you, thanks for being here. Um, that was something different than what I'd been used to in any of my other experiences going to church. Um, we got out of the car, made our way to the door, and as soon as we get to the door, we're greeted by probably a dozen smiling faces. Everyone's happy to be there, excited that we are there. Um, and one of the first people I ran into was Carrie, and I got this big giant hug. I said, good morning, brother, how are you? Um, so now we're, we're, we're around huggers. And uh, so something I wasn't, uh, wasn't expecting, and I wasn't expecting that kind of warm greeting. Uh, then I run into John, and John comes up, and of course, he's met Phyllis several times, and I'll, it's like he knew me already. Uh, Jared, how you doing, buddy? How, good to see you. Thanks, brother, for coming. Enjoy, get you some coffee. Uh, enjoy yourself and so just th that sense of we welcome you here um, we want you here come in experience this and enjoy yourself um, at your pace we're not going to pressure you we don't have any expectations of you uh, was something that was different from what I experienced because in, growing up um, I felt like you were an outsider if you were new to the church and if you came in with really no knowledge or background you just felt like you were out of place there was one song uh, that was played that um, I really didn't understand what the, the meaning was behind and so uh, after after church I stopped by and said hey John I got a question I know this might sound silly but what does the 99 mean I don't really quite understand it and he took that time to, to explain it to me in a way that um, didn't make me feel stupid or didn't degrade my lack of knowledge. It said, hey, this is a really good thing that new people probably have that quest same question that you have. And I have to keep that in mind that we're not all at the same level um, in our knowledge. And uh, it brings up a good point. And he explained it to me and it made, made sense. Um, but really what made me feel feel good is, is just the way he said, you know what, that's a great question. Um, let me answer it for you. And if you have any more questions, let me put you in touch with some resources so that you can start building your knowledge. At the end, when, when we'd have a chance to, to text in to say yes to Christ, um, I just felt something in me that said, you know what, now's the time uh, I can make a commitment. And so I, I went ahead and submitted the text message and uh, within a couple of days, John called me and reached out and, and, and said he was excited to, to hear that I made that, that choice and 
again, he, he wanted to be there to help me go down that path and, and help me along my journey. Um, I just can't say enough about how much it makes you feel better knowing that there's people that were, are there to help you along your journey and not judge you for, for not knowing things and, and waiting till you're 40 to make these kind of commitments. My name is Jared Herr, and this is my story, Life Change Through Christ.